Republican frontrunner Donald Trump has just taken three more states in the primaries, forcing Marco Rubio to drop out of the race. We're joined now by political blogger David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter, and he's here now with more on the race. David, great to see you. Very happy to be here. Thank you. So let's start by the showing of last night. Donald Trump won three more states in last night's primary. He seems to really be taking our country by storm. Well, he's doing well in the primaries, but the thing is, with John Kasich winning last night, that could help Donald Trump. You know, really? he wanted to win Ohio, but I think that could help Donald Trump, mainly because he still has two people in the race against him. So he could continue to win and keep on getting pluralities. And the thing is, what you need to watch out for, if there's like a contested convention, you want to look for the number 1100. If he comes close to 1100, they can't deny him the nomination. But the perfect scenario would be is if Cruz and Kasich would team up together, but I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, well, certainly be one to watch. Let's turn to the recent vicious atmosphere that we've seen on the campaign trail. Do you think that presidential races have really ever been more divisive? The last time it was divisive was in 1968 when there were there was violence. But the difference between then and now is that you didn't have a candidate calling out people and saying, I would punch him in the face. George Wallace, for all of his demagoguery, never really said from the podium, you know what, if somebody disagrees with me, let's beat him up, let's throw him out. And Donald Trump has got to stop that if he needs to be taken seriously as a serious candidate. Do you think maybe in part some of this violence has been because Donald Trump has built his campaign on outrage? I think a part of that is his rhetoric, but also part of that is a lot of people are very unhappy with the way that things are, and they feel that they're entitled to their opinion. And the problem with that is that Donald Trump is making some promises about building a wall, and he may not believe it, but his supporters do. Right. And if 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 there's a if if there's a link to that, that could be part of the violence and part of the passion that people feel. Passion is good, but not when you're violent. So do you think at this point that Donald Trump is looking to be the Republican nominee? I think that there's a good chance that he will come close, but there are other forces that are gonna be factored in. And Look for that number 1100. If he gets to 1100, they can't deny him. If he's under 1100, he won't be there. Anything can happen. And Pennsylvania is going to be very important. But go ahead. When start. it comes to Donald yeah. Trump. So with John Boehner, I read today that he recently said if the GOP can't decide on a candidate in the first ballot in the convention, he's proposing that the current Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, become president. What's your thoughts on that? Well, the thing is, you have to remember that a Republican nominating convention is just that, a nominating convention. Uh, like the people who are voting for Donald Trump think they're voting for him to be the nominee. They're voting to be delegates to the nominee. Okay. Anybody, you could float anybody's name in there as an alternative candidate. And if he doesn't make it on the first ballot, if he doesn't come close, then there could be people that could, you know, Mitt Romney, Paul Ryan is one. Sure. Okay. Well, certainly a race to watch. And uh, David, where can we go to get more information? Uh, LulacPoliticalEditor.blogspot.com. Okay. Before we go, I have to say we did a great job accidentally coordinating our outfits we today. We coordinated all the way down to, you know, our, our colors. <laughs> yes. So we're showing our colors. Nobody else got the memo, but we did. Pretty impressive. All right. Well, thank you so much. Let's